Delight. Ito po ang part 2 ng ating Braces episode journey. So, gusto ko napakita sa inyo kung saan ako nagpunta dito sa Vancouver Island. Ang name ng clinic nila is Bellamy Orthodontics. So, guys, makikita nyo dyan sa slideshow kung gano'ng kaganda ang office nila and very accommodating ang mga staff nila kasi pinayagan nila akong mag-film ng aking braces journey. So, let's do the part 2, shall we? Let's go! So, mga kadelight, after na installation ng appliance sa bibig ninyo, uh, bibigyan naman kayo on how to take care of your mouth while having the treatment. So, I explain sa inyo kung paano kayo magpa-brush, kung paano kayo magpa-floss, and ipapakita ko rin sa inyo yung mga freebies nila. And um, may mga libreng floss, toothbrush, etc. Papakita nila kung paano ilagay yung box dun sa mga protruding parts para hindi kayo magkaroon ng mga open source sa inyong mouth. Alright, this is basically what we just did to you. You put brackets on. These are what your front four brackets look like. It's called a twin bracket and it gets bonded directly onto your teeth. You have a wire on the top and the bottom and the wire is what's actually moving your teeth. Mm -hmm. Those colors hold in the wire in the front and then your two teeth on the bottom have these little steel ligatures and they just kind of uh, twist it around and it just socks the wire in. Oh. Um, your other brackets have these little doors, and that's what I was kind of cooking. And the wire goes in, door shuts over top. And then your other brackets have little hooks on them, and that's for later down the road when we do elastics. And we'll go over all of that at that time. The elastics help the way that your teeth fit together. Um, but you need to be in a stronger wire to do that. So again, I'll go over all that, but that's what those hooks are for. Also later down the road, we'll use elastic chain that helps close space and it can also help to rotate a tooth out if you need. And then you don't have any springs, but if we were uh, ever needing to maintain or hold a space, we'd use a spring. And then that's the end of the video. So you're going to go home with everything we talk about. We send you home with samples and then you can get all this stuff for hygiene supplies at like Walmart, Shoppers, wherever you get your hygiene supplies. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, you're not used to having metal in there and it can rub against your lips and cheeks mm -hmm. and it can create a little sore spot. So you can use wax to help with that. The key with the wax is to get the area as dry as possible. So try to suck back all your saliva. Take your piece of wax, roll it into a little ball. Put it onto the spot where it's bugging you and then it'll help heal the area. Try to take the wax out before you eat. Uh, you don't want to be swallowing wax, of course, but if you do swallow a bit, it's okay. But obviously, just try to take it out before you eat. You'll start to kind of loosen over time as you have saliva in your mouth. Um, so, yeah. Right, you don't have bands, so don't worry about the ring, but um, your wire stops here and here. So these very back molars do have a bracket on them. If for some reason those come off, we don't need to see you, it's fine. We'll see you at your next appointment because the wire is not going to that tooth. We just put them on because we have that contraption in your mouth and it saves you from having to have it again. Um, but if for some reason your wire popped out of this bracket, you can try to get back it back in with tweezers. They're very flexible. It is a little bit difficult, so if you don't feel bad, if you can't do it, you can easily do it. We'll do it in two seconds for you. So what usually the reason why it comes out? It can be, sometimes it's just if you eat something and it kind of hits the wire and bounces it out. Oh. Um, it's pretty rare, <laughs> but in the beginning, the wires are just so flexible that it can happen. Um, as you get into stronger wires, it won't happen. Um, and then this is just showing um, the wire being long. So your wires are all trimmed to the end except for on the bottom where we turned it in. But um, once you get into stronger wires, when your teeth move, the only place for the wire to go is backwards. So the wire will stick out of it and can poke your teeth. 
You can try to use wax. Wax doesn't like to stick back there. That's where most of the saliva is. So you can come and get them trimmed in between an appointment. Just call us and say, hey, my wire is poking me. Um, we'll bring it in and we'll trim the wire for you. Some people don't. Some people can have really long wires and they don't notice it at all. Some people notice like the tiniest little bit of wire. It just kind of depends on the anatomy of where it's sitting on your cheeks, right? So this is just showing wax going on the back of there. Um, if for some reason your wire breaks, again, that's very rare. You can use nail clippers to cut it so that you're comfortable, but we would want to see. Those little ties, I've tucked them all up, but if for some reason it comes out, you can use the back of a pencil to kind of push it up or it comes to yes. And yeah, if you, if you ever aren't sure, just call us or we'll in, or we can try to talk you through it on the phone. But we'll probably just bring it in and then show you what to do. Does that all make sense? Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna. Hygiene is very important when you have braces. Your teeth are very clean when you came in, so I don't think we're gonna have an issue. But. Um, with braces, ideally you're brushing every time you eat. We know it's not always possible, so aim for a minimum of three times a day. The space or the spots where we see uh, bacteria and plaque accumulate is the gum line, so up here and in between the brackets. So what I want you to do is take the toothbrush, clean the tops of the brackets. There's a little ledge and food loves to get stuck in there. So just really clean the top of it, but also flipping your toothbrush and getting your gum line. And then not forgetting that, that you have other sides of your teeth. So just really um, taking the time to brush. You're gonna get an electric toothbrush today and a manual brush. I wouldn't use the electric toothbrush for the first couple days just because you're gonna be sore. The manual brush does work just as well as long as you're putting it in the right position. Okay. Yeah. I mean, some people aren't that sore, so it's, it's totally up to you if you want to use it or not. Okay. Um, some people don't like the vibration when they're sore, though, but everyone's different. So to clean in between the brackets, it's hard for the toothbrush to get in there. So you can use this, it's called a proxy brush. It fits underneath the wire and it cleans the sides of the brackets. So it's very handy to keep um, one in like your purse. If you can't brush, I mean, you can bring this everywhere. It's like this big. Yeah, um, is it like, you, is there like a gum brand that's just yes. like, oh, yeah. just like a toothpick thing? Yeah, it's kind of like a toothpick. This one has a little brush on it. There oh, are man. ones that are like a pick and then there's a brush. Oh. They're very common though, like you see them in all the stores, so okay. you'll be able to find that. You probably won't be able to find the exact one we give you today, but any will work. Okay. There's just the brand we have. It's a little bit different. Um, so those are also great. And then flossing. Um, oh, yeah. This is called Super Floss. Because yeah. I used the, the one with the plastic like thing. Like on the stick? Yeah, yeah we do. Stick. They do have ones that are for braces. I'll show you in your kit How do you, okay. um, what it looks like. But this is called Super Floss. It has a hard end on it, so it helps to guide the floss underneath the wire. And then you pull it up and then floss under the gum line. Go ah, to the next tube and okay. continue. It's going to be really hard for you to use the floss on the stick on your bottom teeth. As your teeth straighten out, it gets easier. And I'll show you what, it's a little bit different than the regular stick, but I'll oh. show you in a minute. But that's how to floss. But do you recommend that one compared to that because you can't get to yeah. the between the top of the gum line? Yeah, I think that floss is better because it can, mm -hmm. it, I just think it cleans a little bit better and gets right under there. Yeah. Um, but I just don't have much experience with the sticks. I use the just regular floss. But um, they can work for sure. Any questions on how to clean your teeth? Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about the flossing. The flossing? I'll show you on the model. We have a little plastic model. I'll show you how to do it with a pick as well. Um, but this is what happens if you don't take good care of your teeth. Um, you don't want that. No, I don't think it's going to happen to you, but it does happen, or it could just be one tooth that you're missing. So you've never had braces, so when you come in for your first appointment, we'll take a look and we'll let you know if there's a spot you're missing, because we don't oh, want okay. Yeah, Yeah, this doesn't happen overnight. This is um, a couple months of neglect, and yeah, it's... And we do see it, unfortunately, but most people keep their teeth pretty clean. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you don't want that. Those white marks um, are called the calcification. They're permanent, so the only way to fix it would be with filling. So you have to get fillings on every single one of these teeth. 
but we don't want to do it for you. So, the last video is the foods to avoid. Basically, anything really hard, sticky, crunchy, so like really toasted bread. You can still have bread, just not super toasted, like chips, like those kettle chips. Yeah. Those, things, like those kind of things can break okay. your brackets. Um, you don't have any bands, so don't worry about that. If your bracket is moving at all, it means that it's, your tooth will not move anymore. So if it's within a week of your appointment, uh, we'll just deal with it then. But if it's a couple weeks out, it's a good idea to come and get put back on. Um, it'll just prolong treatment if you keep having brackets come on. So just don't chew on like things like mint, ice, things you normally bite directly into. You can just cut into smaller pieces. Um, it's not going to be very comfortable to bite directly into an apple. So. And then don't chew on things like pens or pencils, just normal food. <laughs> um, you'll want to stick to soft foods for the first couple of days just because your teeth will be a little tender. Um, things on a bone, maybe just cut it off or just be very careful. Popcorn's a big one, the little husks get stuck underneath the gums, um, and then swelling can happen pretty easily. But you'll kind of figure out what you can and you can't eat pretty quickly. <laughs> Diagram of all the parts in your mouth what nice clean healthy gums look like and unhealthy gums so if you're noticing Aww. they're starting to get a little bit red mm -hmm. and puffy you just need to take a little bit more time um, to brush and floss and if you get home and you're still like confused and just can't remember just call us we'll bring you back in and show you how to do it properly um, that's more on just things to avoid what a broken bracket looks like just trying to limit the amount of sugar you're having um. to keep things healthy you get a free little mini blizzard at Dairy Queen. Um, it's uh, only valid at the Country Club location. The address is on there. Yeah. Um, obviously, don't get anything hard or sticky, but hey, you get a little free. And then we do have a point system. So I already set your card up. You start with about 30. This is your new toothbrush. Uh, we supply the toothbrush and the one head to the heads you can get. I think coffee. Yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah, but you can get them pretty much anywhere. And then this is our little tip. So this has everything in it to keep your teeth clean. So there's wax, a little toothbrush, toothpaste, lip balm, and then this is the floss sticks, and I'll show you. Oh yeah, that's the one I'm using. Yeah, so these ones are designed for braces, so if you're going to use them, just make sure that you can tell it's more narrow on one side. Mm -hmm. Most will be thick on both sides. The ones you have at home are probably thick on both sides. Oh. So the narrow side will actually fit underneath the wire. Oh, it's plastic, so it won't be okay. actually floss up, but it will fit. Where yeah. they'll find it quite easy to floss with this. Yeah. Um, what else? Because it's hard for my fingers to like hold it, pressure oh, really? them, and yeah. just, especially my bottom teeth are yeah. so tight. Yeah. And um, the other ones so. we have in there are these little boots, <laughs> and they look like this. And then you basically put your own piece of floss through it, and it's kind of like a sewing needle. You just take the hard part and then put it underneath, and then it will help to pull the floss. There. Oh. Okay. Yeah. When I had braces, I would just tie a piece of floss, like a knot onto it, and then it's one piece. Mm -hmm. Makes it a little bit easier. Sometimes you'll get it through and then the floss falls out the other side. Oh, okay. But it's essentially super floss, but just on its own. And there's little instructions on there too to show you kind of how to do it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Do you have any questions? <laughs> mm, I think I'm okay so far. <laughs> so. Um, starting now, the teeth is moving already? Yeah, there's oh. pressure on them already, so tonight and yeah. tomorrow will kind of be the worst for discomfort. Mm -hmm. If it's starting to bug you, I would take Advil or Tylenol, whatever you're more comfortable with, to mm -hmm. kind of help. Mm -hmm. Cold things do help. They are heat-activated wires, so things like yogurt or ice cream, some things that are colder might feel a little bit better, as opposed to something that's hot. Oh, okay. It's very like minor, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, kind of soft foods. And then every appointment when you come is not going to be you won't be as sore as the first one. Like, I don't want to scare you, but I just want you to think every time that you're going to be that sore. 
um, the first one's usually the worst, and then you'll come for a wire change. It'll feel tight when you leave, yeah. and then it'll be sore for like a day or two, and then it's good. And it's good. Yeah. Okay. This little, thing, this little hook is yeah. kind of rubbing against your cheek. Mm -hmm. um, then you just take the wax, take a little oh, piece it of it. Good. Okay. It, it'll be softer than this. This okay. is just my sitting demo there for wax, <laughs> so it's been sitting there for a bit. And then just roll it into a little ball like that, mm. and then kind of just push it over top. Like that. Oh, okay. So, mga kadelight, maraming ba kayong natutunan para sa mga may mga bagong braces dyan? Nakakalagay lang. Comment down below kung anong experience nyo sa pagpapakabit ng inyong braces para magkaroon ng better and straighter teeth and better smile. There you have it, mga kadelight. Sana hindi kayo na bore ni Alicia sa kanyang mga statements on how to take care of your mouth with a new installed appliance. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me sa journey ng aking new smile and braces journey. God bless you guys. Take care. Bye. And I will leave you with this verse. A happy heart makes the face cheerful but heartache crashes the spirit. That's in Proverbs 15, verse 13.